Hello, everybody, and a welcome to this video, where today it's going to be a different thing. We're doing a Costco jerky and nut haul. I just realized that that could be messed up quite a bit. So yeah, that's what we're doing today. Um, I also got some Kirkland organic coconut water, and I tried this. They had the Vita cocoa that I like. The water kind, not the press kind, but the water kind. But um, this one was, I mean, these are a little smaller, I think, too. But it was a little cheaper, and so I'm going to see if it's any good. And if it's good, then there you go. It looks exactly like the other. It looks like water inside. It's okay. Tastes like fucking coconut water. I guess coconut water is another one of those things that are really fucking hard to fuck up. But this is pretty good. I got some jerky, guys. And I got some nuts. And I'm excited. But I want to do taste tests on all of these with you here. So, first off, we got Archer Grass-Fed Beef jerky, mango, habanero. Are you fucking kidding me? Ooh, 10 grams of protein. Then, get ready. We have Golden Island Korean barbecue pork jerky. What? Oh my gosh. If this tastes like bilgogi or fucking galbi or anything like that, I'm going to lose my effing mind. Effing mind. Oh, this one I have to refrigerate after opening. And then finally, Old Trapper, hot and spicy beef jerky. Look, it's red, guys, and it has all those chili flakes on them. So that's gonna be tasty. So let me try this one first. Oh. Okay, so that smells pretty fucking good. And it comes in a tray, and it's very sticky. So let's see. It's kind of bilgogi y. I could just keep eating this. It's very messy. It's very sticky. My fingers have all gotten sticky just eating this. This doesn't seem like something you take camping or hiking or anything like that. This is more like something you have with rice, actually. That's way better than any pork jerky I've had. But it's not bilgogi enough to be like bilgogi and it's not really galby. It's like almost there, but not quite. That's that's very strange, but it's super tender and um, it, tastes, it tastes good. So again, that is Golden Island Korean barbecue um, fire grilled pork jerky slices. I'm excited about what's happening next. There's all sorts of stuff happening. Okay, let's jump in it. Cause you know, you know, I'm going mango habanero. So let's do this. Oh my gosh. Come on, bag. You know you want to feed me. Let me in. Oh, here we go. Hmm. Look at that. All right. Let's try this shit. Oh, that feels good. That feels like good jerky. That feels like good jerky. Oh, yeah. It just comes right apart. Can taste the mango. You have to really suck on it to get the habanero on your tongue. But it's so not really spicy. It's kind of spicy, but not really. 
So if you like spicy, just suck on it. If you don't, you could probably just chew this and swallow it and it just tastes sweet. You know what it kind of tastes like? If you've ever had like that, um, cause there's the kick now at the end. If you've ever had that like um, habanero sweet and sour dip, like with like chicken and stuff like that, that's what this tastes like. The mango isn't super strong. Just like in the beginning. Now here's another thing. Oh yeah, that has some heat. Yeah, it tastes a lot like that sauce, that sweet and sour habanero sauce. So if you like that, you'll love that. Um, I don't like sticky jerky. Because I usually have jerky when I'm doing something where I don't want my fucking hands sticky. You know, it's not like I'm sitting at a table and using a fork you know it's like i'm out and about i'm at the beach i'm i don't know on my computer here like i'm doing something that i don't want sticky fucking hands with so yeah they're they're both sticky that wasn't as sticky but it's still sticky that's tasty um but yeah it's just like i like my jerky to have like the flavor like deep in it and not all like sticky wet on top of it. That's just a me thing, but very good. If you like that flavor. Okay, so this is the hot and spicy. Let's see if this lives up to old trapper. Oh shit. Now we're talking. Now we are talking. Look at that. Mm. Mm. Kinda tough, which is fine. Very tough. It's like, why put it in a sealed bag? Jesus Christ. I don't know if that was a bad bite, but that was the toughest piece of beef jerky I've had in a really long time, and it was really sinewy. Like, like the pieces would break off, but like still be attached. And then that was tough. Flavor's good. Yeah, who the fuck is going to eat like a pound and a half of hot and spicy beef jerky within a day? That's weird. Oh man, there's the sinuses. So that's good. So, um, I don't know. Like I'm, I think I just got excited by the giant bags at decent prices. None of these are my favorite. Um, after opening, consume within three days or refrigerate. Holy shit. I did not know that was a thing you had to do with beef jerky. Although I guess most beef jerky doesn't last that long around here. All three of those are... The flavor is okay, I guess. The trapper is tough as shit. The other two are way more tender, but um, they're super sticky. Like, that's not like a, like the trapper you could take out and fucking, um, you know. And then some people go, well, that's why it's not sticky because it's like really rough or tough or whatever. Like, the Bridgeford beef jerky you get at Walmart isn't like that. The fucking Trader Joe's beef jerky isn't like that. The Sims beef jerky isn't like that. The, um, I guess, Jack Link's beef jerky isn't like that. Um, so, I don't know. Not that, the, like, the Trader Joe's and the Bridgeford are my favorites, probably. But, yeah. So, little let down. I think that pork one is really good, but that, I don't, that doesn't even seem like jerky. And it comes in a tray. Like, I feel like I need to make some rice and kimchi and fucking eat that. So, let's go on to the nuts. This one, we have tahine and lime, or chili and lime pistachios. That sounds fucking amazing. We're gonna put our, in this. Oh wow, these look little. They look way bigger on the front, am I right? This is what we got.
Oh, there it is. That took a minute. Mm. Man, how can you take so many things I like, put them together, and have it not really be great? It tastes like there's too much lime in it, and honestly, I would rather there be less coating on these. Because, like, on the bag, it looks like there's just a little bit. These things are covered. And it just, it tastes more like lime. And then after you swallow, your tongue's, like, burning a little bit. And you're like, oh, there's the chili. Um, so, yeah. So, this, too, um, it's good. But I don't know what the fuck I thought. What is this last thing? Don't fuck me here, guys. This is actually kind of cool. I don't know. It's just walnuts, dried mango, almonds, cranberries, and pumpkin seeds. So it's basically what I put in my nut mixes anyway. So now that I think about it, I don't really know why I got this. Um, I think I just saw the little dried mango thing and I got excited. So here's just a handful of shit. Together it tastes fine. I'm gonna eat a little piece of the mango. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Dude, this is so stupid. This is okay too, but um, my mix I make is better. So whatever. So I have a bunch of things that I got at Costco today. And I'm not overly impressed by any of it. And this is Power Up Trail Mix Mega Omega. I'm a bit let down. I'm not going to lie. That just goes to show you. Five bucks at Trader Joe's and fucking three bucks at Aldi's. You're good to go. So... Yeah. Um, what is your favorite jerky and nut and fruit combo that you get at Costco. Is there something I missed? Um, I actually went to Costco to get new specs today. So I'm going to have a new glasses look. And I even got prescription sunglasses because I feel like the sun is blinding me. Um, so I did that. So I'm going to be heading back to Costco in about two weeks. So if there's something good that I don't know about, leave it in the comments tell me what it is so when i go back there i can get something good this is not bad and this was um i can't remember how many i think it was 12 of these for i think eight dollars which is amazing so i approve of this purchase this stuff it's fine i'll eat it and i'll be happy eating it but it's fine so with that said eat hard <laughs> But make sure your jerky's tender, okay? And I will talk to you all later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. Thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew of the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.